Tony Schiavone has no pleasure, none, in introducing Don Callis for an interview. So last week, Callis says the Don Callis family made history. Chris Jericho was never manhandled like Powerhouse Hobbs did to him last week. Jericho explains February 22nd, 1998 was supposed to be the greatest day of his life. His grandmother got them front row tickets to go see Chris Jericho. And Chris Jericho told her to shut up and told him to sit down. Sit his ass down, in fact. And that seven-year-old child swore vengeance. And one day he was going to hurt Chris Jericho over and over and over. And he did. And uh, Callis says Hobbs is just being what... We're, we're letting Hobbs be what he's supposed to be. A six foot three, 275 pound killing machine. We are not done with Chris Jericho. We are undefeated in four months except one match where Sammy Guevara was hurt by Jericho. And I had to get a scab in Kyle Fletcher. And he let us down. He screwed the Don Callis family. So Fletcher comes out to defend himself. Says he only did that match as a favorite of Don. He's going to show he doesn't need anybody's help to beat Kenny Omega tonight. Kala says, I like your confidence. I like, the way you're, 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 I like what I'm hearing tonight. If you can beat Kenny Omega by yourself tonight, we may have an opportunity, opportunity to discuss next week. So it's Kyle Fletcher versus Kenny Omega and it. Well, before we get to this yeah. match, Vinny, this, uh, this segment, this promo segment, I will say that as I was watching this show, when, when Don Callis first came out, my first thought was more fucking talking because we had Penton Jay White, and then we had a Jay White promo, a Juice promo, an MJF promo, an acclaimed promo, a match, and then a long Adam Copeland promo, and then a one-minute Warlow match, and then a long Kenny Omega promo, and then the Roddy thing at the house, and mm-hmm. then there's they're coming out for another promo. I was like, fuck! How many fucking promos are on this show? And then Will Hobbs <laughs> fucking took that mic, and this fucking guy... Like, uh, am I the biggest fan of Hobbs on this fucking planet? I've been putting this guy over. You might be, but he's pretty awesome. For fucking, like, more than years. months. It's been years. Years. Yeah. I've been saying, let's let's get the fuck going with Hobbs already. Well, they've gotten the fuck going with Hobbs. And not only is he in a top heel group, he fucking destroyed Chris Jericho. And this guy can cut a promo. And what helped is that everything that he said was true he was at this fucking super brawl show in sacramento that was a cow palace daily daily city wow it was february 22nd 1998 it was super brawl eight it was a show where they did the hulk hogan sting match for the vacant wcw title because they fucked everything up at starcade and then they fucked everything up the month after and then they put sting over the guy here but uh, it was Chris Jericho versus Juventud Guerrera, title versus mask for the Cruiserweight title. And Hobbs was there with his, his grandmother in the front row. And Jericho walked by and told her to shut up and told him to sit his ass down. And so, like, I'm sure he was fucking thrilled when it actually happened. Yeah. But he turned that into this promo where he claimed that for 25 years I have held on to this frustration and I swore the day I got my chance to look you in the eye it hurt you over and over. I looked at you and you were lifeless. So what did I do? I picked your ass up and I spine bustered you over and over and God damn it, I loved it. I was like, I love you. This is fucking awesome. So then I was like over the moon and then, you know, Don... Starts, starts. Uh, first, he puts over Hobbs, talks about how great Hobbs is. Then he starts burying Kyle Fletcher because Fletcher, you know, he was in that match and he lost. And if you remember, like Don was putting Fletcher over the entire match. Mm-hmm. And as soon as Fletcher got pinned, he immediately turned on him. And so now he's talking about how horrible and idiot this guy is. So Fletcher comes out. He has a good promo defending himself. And then, of course, they agree that, well, you know. You win tonight, and we can have a conversation. So now I'm like, I've totally forgiven them for another talking segment. And then they have this fucking match with Kenny Omega and Kyle Fletcher. This match was so awesome. This was a New Japan match. This match would have been one of the better matches in the G1. Mm -hmm. This was, and all these nerds going, whatever happened to the New Japan Kenny Omega? Where's that guy at? You know where he is fucking... He's been there the whole time, and he showed it on this match. He's just fucking 
unbelievable. And Kyle Fletcher, he made this guy look like a million dollars. The guy's already great, but he made him look like an even more outstanding guy. And fucking Kyle Fletcher's kicking out of this. He's kicking out of that. They're doing all these near falls, and Kenny can't beat this guy. And finally, Kyle puts him in the skull end. Mm. Sonata's finish, but he escapes. V-trigger, one wing and angel, and the second he gets the pin, Callis goes, God damn this Fletcher! This guy needs to quit the business. He starts screaming at him. He should go get a nine to five job. He sucks. He's useless. I this was turned the whole show. I mean everything. I was so happy when this was over. I think you're underselling the com- commentary. I'm not match. understanding anything. <laughs> understating. Match, you called it a, a New Japan match, which is true, but it's also like this is a New Japan main event. I said one of the best matches in the G1. Yeah, yeah, an awesome, awesome, awesome wrestling match. Everything they did looked killer. I know wrestling is not all about the moves, but you know what? When guys do awesome moves for 15, 20 minutes, whatever this was. Yeah, fuck those people. It is all about the moves when it's a match like this. Well, is this good? These fucking moves. Well, so it's more than moves, though, because as you noted, it was, it's all about his comeback, and he can't finish Fletcher off, and it was, it was just like an awesome, awesome wrestling match. But I hate to say this, but Don Callis then don't. was even more awesome. Oh, I don't know about that. I was he, full of awe. He was pretty great, but goddamn. I was awestruck by Don Callis because he's doing his own storyline here. Yes. Where he, he hated Kyle Fletcher, but out of the goodness of his heart, was going to give Fletcher a second chance to impress him. And then we'll see what happens. And they, the other guy's like, oh, you got to put him in the Kyle's family? I never said that. I merely said we'd have a speecher. But as the match cast starts going, and Fletcher is so unbelievably awesome, he starts to soften, and it's slowly and gradually. That's Fletcher's doing better than I thought. That's Fletcher gets great. He's on a roll. Fletcher's going to do this. He's got him where he wants him. And then that ref counts three. You've never seen a faster 180. This kid is such a miserable disappointment. <laughs> An incredible love and a terrible result. He had a mega beat and screwed it up. He should quit. The business, yeah. sickening, sickening. Quit the business. Get a fucking nine to five job, kid. This is unreal. This is it was awesome. Fantastic. Television. It was awesome. Hey, you know what? Any idiot can do moves. You know, we see a lot of idiots doing moves. We sure do. But the magic of moves is when you do the moves great. Yeah. And not only that, but when every move means something. It's not truly a bunch of moves. It's only a bunch of moves. If you're a moron viewer that doesn't get shit, you should also fucking quit the business. Quit watching. This, this was absolutely incredible professional wrestling. And if you hear anybody telling you that this was no good, stop listening to them immediately. Yeah. Just, just delete it from your fucking phone and, and, and just either move on or, I don't know, man. This was so great. The Dan Housen return video airs. He's still coming back. Couldn't follow it this, unfortunately. Well, no, it's not as good as no. the Omega Fletcher match. No, it was a tough, tough act to follow. Lance Archer versus Barrett Brown. What a match, by the way. Imagine trying to follow Kenny Omega and Kyle Fletcher. Yeah. Nobody can. Yeah. So they, so they just sent out Lance Archer to murder hawk this nerd <laughs> Barrett Brown. He killed this fucker. I guess they've done and this before. And it just immediate murder, and it was over. <laughs> I guess they have done this before, but I, first time I remember where he comes out beating his opponent's ass... Knocking him down the ramp, and uh, and uh, Justin Roberts just works it into his introduction. Currently kicking his opponent, Barrett Brown, down to the ring. It's the Murder Hawk Master, Lance Archer. So Brown got a little stuff. He hit a pair of topes, but then got choked slammed under the apron. Archer destroys him, hits him with a blackout, and wins. A tremendous squash that was. We had some neighbors. They had a little horse. One day the horse disappeared, and we didn't know if they sold it or ate it. <laughs> I think it was aided. I used to go over there and spend the night with the girls. I was quite a bit. Did you ever eat dinner though. there? No. The girls, the twins, they met. They met this father and son. And oh no! One of them married the father, and the other married the son. Can you imagine how different ways they are related? The the I, daughters. I actually can't. That was a weird bunch. The dad was a uh, stepdad to the girls. And they got, got kind of familiar once in a while. <laughs> what? Move on. Go. <laughs> Don't. Just go. He's Was having a cow, too. not inbred? <laughs> anyway, we used to have to churn butter. Are you having fun with me? I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> hey, guys. Did you love this clip? 
If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.